Oh, I truly love this picture filled with a pure joy of my daughter while riding a bicycle. So I believe that this special feeling of freedom while biking is familiar to almost all of us. As Karina already said, I personally find uh, the biking as one of the most exciting and pretty practical physical activity. Uh, even though I'm using the bike for as uh, my daily mean of transportation, I never get bored of it. And uh, as well, um, bike works much better for me. This morning boost of energy works much better for me than the whole ocean of a coffee. And as well, this kind of boost of energy keeps me motivated for the whole day. Biking back home after the whole day sitting by the computer is just a pure relief. What is really important, uh, I found it's just a subjective, not really a, a meta-analysis. I found the um, quite a big connection between uh, maintaining the physical and mental health and biking in my own case. So uh, somehow I believe that also mm, bike has an important uh, impact on my creativity boost during work. Otherwise, it would be quite hard to um, standardize biobanking <laughs> without having this kind of creative uh, invention. So um, as well, without, uh, with my family and friends, we are using bike also as an opportunity to meet and also enjoy the pure pleasure uh, of biking through the forest. Uh, so this is just a pretty obvious and pretty simple stuff regarding uh, to biking. Uh, but as well, since the bike has a really important uh, impact of my own life, um, I decided to dig deeper what importance it's the biking for gaining the freedom, the freedom in a deeper sense. So I started the analysis with myself, uh, so with my thoughts, with my feelings about biking. So uh, since a small girl, um, the bike was my uh, mean of transportation around the neighborhood and making some new friends, not only from the kindergarten, but also from, from another part of the city. Um, but then I came to school, it just became uh, my daily mean of transportation. When I started to work, nothing really changed. It's, it's still the bike, it's in daily use. This sounds just pretty ordinary. It, it's not nothing, nothing new, especially here in Graz, when I'm happy to see so many bikes <laughs> on the streets. Um, so then I was wondering uh, how, is the, how the impact of biking looks for the deeper sense of freedom, looks for the deeper sense of liberty. Uh, so I started the analysis of course, looking through the internet. And I found out uh, that since the introduction of the first vehicle, bike-like, called Lauf Machine or the Dandy Horse, without the pedals, uh, there was a plenty of improvement going on. So, uh, for example, uh, when there was the uh, Lauf Machine uh, improved, improved with different modifications, uh, the companion riding with men and women became a new method of the socialization. But in this case, women can just accompany it, uh, men as a, just a passenger uh, sitting on the tandem bike or the tricycle. The man was the person who just was responsible for the direction of the right. Uh, then with the improvement uh, going on in the bicycle market with the introduction of the safety bike with the diamond shaped frame with the wheel chain drive the bike boom just overwhelmed the whole society not only the men but also the women so suddenly from the extreme sport riding a two meter um, high bicycles the safety bike become accessible for everyone Previously, 
before the introduction of the bicycle, the women were supposed to proceed on foot or also in the carriages or also on horse, but always supervised. But with the introduction of the bike, they found the way to move independently without the supervision of the men. And this uh, kind of uh, introduction of the safety bike is also called the golden age of bicycles. And what is really fascinating for me, uh, it happened at the same time when the emancipation uh, of the woman was uh, in well underway. Pure coincidence or just the some kind of um, connection between the emancipation and some kind of biking. So, for example, at the end of 18th century, uh, the Women Emancipation Union was founded and it was also recognizing the bike as a really powerful tool for the women to gaining the independence. And this kind of union was a pioneer uh, to gain the equality for men and for women uh, in terms of uh, really fundamental stuff, like the human rights, like the low to uh, vote, uh, like the uh, equality in marriage, equality in parental, uh, parental rights, and also the access to the education. For us, right now, this kind of uh, things just sounds pretty normal. But then for a woman, it was really a big challenge to overcome, to achieve the whole rights to, to vote, her rights to decide for themselves. And really important person uh, who also showed that women can do anything that men can do. And she also stated that after completing her journey was uh, Annie Londonderry uh, who made a, a bike trip around the world and also stated, and sh she told after that, that it was her idea to show that women can do anything that men can do. So it is a pretty inspirational uh, women as well. So I really love uh, the quote uh, prepared uh, also in 19th century by Susan Anthony, uh, who stated that bike has done more to emancipate women than anything else in the world. And even in 19th century, the bike was already recognized as a really powerful tool for the liberation of women. Uh, so while thinking about the impact of biking to our daily life, um, I decided to focus on some particular fields. Uh, first of all, the most fundamental one, so liberation. Uh, having the bike as the affordable means of transportation for a woman, because having a horse in the city would be quite expensive one. Uh, so having a bike, um, allows women to move from the private domestic sphere, just sitting as a Hestia go goddess by the, uh, at home with the children, to move to the society, to become also the active participators in the whole society, to become the decision makers. It also allowed the women to work, to challenge the society, to achieve the possibility to vote, to make the decision also for themselves about her own lives, which was, wa was not really obvious these times. As well, even today, bikes have a really important impact on women's uh, life to get the access to the education. Of course, in some part of the world, you can just uh, bring by your father uh, or your mother to the school, or you can just take your own bike and just bike to school to have the classes. But in some, let's say, less privileged part of the world, having a bicycle is sometimes, unfortunately, the only determinant if you give th uh, have the access to the education at all. So often girls and women who uh, don't have the access to biking cannot get the education at all. And um, as well, this introduction of the bike of bikes, of this uh, liberation 
front, let's say, uh, for, for women, uh, allows to change the thinking of the societal norms. So women finally recognize that can be the decision makers, that can be a confident and self-reliant -rel pers person that can just travel without the supervision. And of course, uh, there was also a uh, plenty of health benefits connected with biking, and it was already recognized also for the uh, physical health, like for the mental health. Uh, and mm, even in 19th century, uh, the uh, woman racer uh, Elsa von Blumen uh, said that she believes that success in lives, uh, li uh, in lives lies upon the um, connection between the active and healthy body and the clear mind. And w she found that biking, even in the early stage of the bike boom, has really important impact on the whole life of a woman. What was really important when we are close to our bodies, um, the women, uh, the mm, bikes facilitated the change in women clothing because of course, as we know, these Victorian dresses, the strict corsets were not very biker friendly. So the introduction of bikes also facilitated the change in clothing and then the access to the rational dress movement. Uh, so therefore, uh, even today, bikes have a really big impact on daily life of a woman. Uh, when I collected some data from the um, various interviews uh, performed in the developing countries, the women all around the world recognized that having the access to the bicycle just let them feel self-reliant, let them feel free. And sometimes uh, when you don't have the access to the public transportation uh, or y there is a risk of some kind of harassment in the public transportation, when you can have the access to the bike, you can also overcome this, um, this risk, overcome these challenges. So with women having uh, this kind of independent way of transportation, independent mean of transportation, there is a, an easier access to schooling, easiest access to the university, having the possibility to just travel to work independently and to choose their own career path. I believe that uh, you can, of course, when we are just sitting here uh, in this well-developed country, um, sometimes it, it cannot be really um, let's say, l it cannot be really rethink by us because we are sitting in the quite warm uh, area right now, but when there is a really risk of some kind of harassment, when you have to travel to get your classes, when you there is uh, so many uh, problems with getting the proper education, the bike, which is quite surprising, can be also one of the important tools to overcome to get the proper education and also to choose your own career path to develop your professional life. So thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.